going on YouTube? It's your boy Aiden here. It's 7.56 in the morning on Christmas Eve and I have come on YouTube to put Jaylee on blast because this girl signed me up to do a Q&A at 8 in the morning on Christmas Eve morning like a crazy woman. I don't know what she's thinking but I'm cranky as hell. I do not want to do it. I'm not going to lie. I really am tired and just, I don't know, just not feeling it. Uh, I'm trying to have a moment. Uh, Drink a cup of coffee first, but I think we just went to bed a little late. We were like cleaning and everything. We didn't get to bed till like, I don't know, a little after midnight. So I'm just sleepy and cranky this morning. All right, about to go live with Jane Lee. I'm also about to kill her. That should make me go live this early. I'm exhausted and cranky. <laughs> but if you want to come hang out with my cranky ass and her happy left ass, <laughs> come on down. This is early because we have a lot going on today. We're having a little Christmas gathering um, with our local friends here. Why did that, <laughs> that was his idea. Um, he wanted My to mom invite... got us these Christmas shirts. Yeah. I don't know, like, is this appropriate for your mother to buy you? I don't think so, but your mom's not that appropriate. It says, I, it says, I do naughty nicely. I don't know, it feels a little like in, like, I feel like it has an undertone of sexual innuendos. But you're right. My mom is just, she's just a free bird. She's a special lady. But I don't know, this is small and like, it must be a woman's because like, look how tight this thing is. I mean, listen, I work out, but this is like, I, it's so tight. I feel like, I, the whole. It says my partner, they're not binary, and I just started dating. I'm nervous because I'll have TM and I've never dated before. Advice. Mm -hmm. Well, I think dating in general can be nerve wracking the first time ever. Um, but I think, I don't know, I mean, like, I I think a lot of people forget that, like, dating in general is nerve wracking, right? Like, a lot of people are like, oh, like, I'm not binary, or I'm not TM, or I'm MPF, and it's just like, I think, date, I think once you realize that dating period is scary for everybody, even like cisgendered people who are super like binary and, and, and heteronormative, uh, they're like just as scared and terrified as like yeah. us to go dating. But I will tell you this, um, if they already know that you're not binary or under the trans umbrella, then I feel like you're halfway through all of the like hardest parts, right? Because that was just like educating. I was just like, hey, did you know that it affects me when you say something this way and I would feel better if you said it this way or whatever, you know? But like, I feel like the hardest part is usually if people don't under don't know how you identify and then you have to try to explain to them, right? I feel like that's the hardest part. Totally, totally, yeah. I think um, just showing up your authentic self from day one and like understanding that like if you get rejected in your authentic self, then that's not the right person for you. Yeah. So like putting fear aside and like face like just standing in your fear and, and just like saying like yeah I am gonna wear this shirt because this is this is how I express myself. And like don't be like, oh my friend told me not to wear this shirt because my date is gonna think this or that. Like no, like mm -hmm. be yourself. yourself from day one. Mm -hmm. That way there's nothing hidden, like you're not going into the relationship like like it's a secret that you are to wear those kinds of shirts. I mean, that's a silly example, but you know what I mean? Like, be upfront. If there's just so much of our culture that tells you to lie to your date, like to lie in relationships, or like cover that up. Don't tell them that till the third week, or the third month, or the third year, or don't tell them that ever. And it's just, it's really cool. This is a good story. So, uh, quick fun story. You want to set it up, babe? Sure. <laughs> Well, the question was, how did we introduce each other to our families? And the answer is, we didn't tell Jamie's family that I was transgender until after we got married. So we were on this show, the It Gets Better special, for a logo on MTV, and they reported us like getting married and coming out for a fishing and all this stuff. And we, when that aired, Two months after we got married, or like a month after we got married, we told Jaylee's family to go watch the show, and that's how they found out that I was transgender. So yeah, they went not to the wedding. Not the entire no, 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 but not, yeah. well, your extended family. Yeah. Your mother knew, your father knew, your brother knew, but we felt like he forgot, and your sister knew. But like, like your your main family knew, but none of your relatives knew. And right. it's not like we talked about it in any. 
And right. this was 2012, so 0.5 cc wasn't even around yet, so I didn't have to say that I have a clothing company. I was just a cake decorator, you know, just like a, your average male cake decorator. And yeah, cute. And so yeah, so like, then we, they, we came out that way and some of your family was not mad, but they were a little upset. They were upset, they which was, well, what was interesting was they felt like we lied. Which I love that. Off the tree. I hate that, but whatever. Yeah. I they, what was the most interesting was that they got more mad at you. Than oh, yeah. oh yeah. Us, oh yeah. Which was really yeah. funny. Mm -hmm. I mean than me, which was really funny because they felt like it was Jamie's responsibility to let them know. Yeah. And that I wasn't doing anything wrong because I was just being myself. Right. But the point of the see, but all I saw was like I don't know. I, for some reason, I guess they felt like that was that would have changed their. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. It says, "Do you think they would not accept him genuinely?" Um, some of them. Yeah. I mean, I don't think any of them would not accept him to his face. <laughs> but you know, like I don't. I think there are definitely some that would behind his back. You know what I mean? Like, not... Well, yeah, yeah. A lot of people, a lot of people smile in your face and then they have a lot of things to say when you leave. And not that they're always mean, and not that I even think they're always conscious of it, but it's just like, people don't even realize when they're gossiping. Yeah. Sometimes. All right, so Jaylee and I just finished a live Q&A on relationships. Uh, Jaylee is doing a relationship clearing. 25%, well, it's actually 25% off all of your clearings, right? Yes. All of her clearings, 25% off. I will put the link below. It's a coupon code live called healing. Live Healing. You'll get 25% off uh, from now until January 1st, New Year's Day, all New Year's Day too. So um, here, you want to grab this? So we just did a, a live session that was awesome. Yay! And we are, I am going to be, I'm grabbing all the food now because we have our sponsored family. So I'm grabbing the food, putting it all in here and then we are going to load up the car and drop it off. So yeah, we're going to get our elf on. Very excited. We're going to get our Santa on. Yes. Oh no! Oh no, baby! It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's going to be okay. <laughs> Think that we got it all. All the food, the toys. Ready? We got all the food. Let's do it. All right. We're about to be there. We are keeping this family super secret, super anonymous. We want to give them privacy, but we got all the gifts in the back. We're about to drop them off. Very, very excited. Yay! We're Santa. Woo! We're the elf, baby. We're the elf. We're Santa and the elf. Cute. That was awesome. Yeah. That was so cool. Yeah. It was really cool. And like, we got these little things. I don't know if they, I don't think he knows that it was us. I don't know, I couldn't tell. But um, we got these cute little cards from the girls that we're supposed to be giving to whoever donated. Look, there's a little Aww, rainbow. They're little thank you cards. Oh, they work little so hard on cards. them. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, little thank you cards, but so yeah. So, trans guy with two little girls, so yeah. very exciting, yeah. very exciting, so. All right, that's what the Christmas spirit's all about. Now it's time to go get the giveaway for you guys! Dinosaur. I, hope, I hope you have a safe drive in your car. Aww. Aww, super sweet. Oh my goodness, it's a graveyard. Oh my gosh. It says Dad, Dan, and Mom. Uh, maybe it's Aww. not a graveyard? I don't know. I hope that it's not. Yeah, I hope it's not too. But that's a dinosaur. Christmas spirit it's is strong, strong in you. In you. <laughs> Aww, I love that so much. There's a rainbow too. It is strong enough, baby. Yes, it we is. We got a strong Christmas spirit, and we're gonna see a rainbow. That's right. Or snow. I want a snow. We are the rainbow. I want a rainbow of snow. 
Okay, so we are here in front of Target, also known as Target. And today's giveaway is a $30 Target gift card. I picked out this cute little puppy because he was just like super cute. So $30 gift card to Target. And the reason I wanted to do this is this is another company that's doing it right. And back when the bathroom bills were getting out and all that nonsense with um, North Carolina was going on and all that stuff, Target took a stand and said, trans people are welcome in our bathrooms. They even to the point that I think like a Christian group or whatever went into Target, remember, and like was like spewing all this stuff and Target kicked them out. And like Target is very much for uh, LGBT uh, equality. They even have, they're like one of the only mainstream companies and one of the first mainstream companies that went ahead and started putting out Pride uh, t-shirts and items for Pride Month in June and acknowledging the LGBT world in our summertime and our Pride parades, which is really, really awesome. They were definitely one of the first people to do that. And yeah, I just, I like Target. They're really great. Again, like it's a place I know that um, I can go to and use the restroom if I need to. I know that it's a safe space for me. I know that they're open to um, our LGBT family and that's really cool. So today's giveaway is Target, $30 gift card. There you go, that's today's giveaway. Yay! Anything you wanna add? Merry Christmas! All right, there we go, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve. Uh, we are gonna go home, we've gotta get dressed, showered, have breakfast. We've got friends coming over. Um, and big day. big day, we're celebrating our Christmas day today with our friends here in Oregon and then tomorrow we're gonna be a little more low-key just Jane Lee and I and we'll be spending Christmas Day together all right so you know what to do if you want to enter today's giveaway a $30 gift card to Target, um, to Target drop a comment below hit the like button make sure you're subscribed if you want to get 20 25% off of an energy healing session with Jenny Lee it's lit live healing is the coupon code I'll put the information down below that's any of her giveaways and I mean any of her sessions and if again if you want to enter this giveaway hit the like button make sure you're subscribed drop a comment below and if you want to get in on tomorrow's my favorite giveaway of the day of the entire thing make sure your notifications are on for tomorrow and my website is readingsbyjennylee.com yes all the information will be down below all right guys catch you in the next one peace